Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. This video here I'll be doing a motherboard replacement on a MacBook Air. Uh, this is the 13 inch and the model here is A1466. So if you have a 2013, 2014, 15, 17, so these four years, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2017, the motherboard replacement is the same process. So the way um, the MacBook Air was created, there wasn't much of a change. The only thing that they changed on the motherboard would be um, higher processor. Maybe like you'll be getting an i3 or i5, or maybe like the higher processing speed is either 2.2 or 2.4 uh, things like that so for you if you want to check where your motherboard parts will be you might want to look carefully here at the printout so like this one it says 820-3437-b uh, I think this is 2015 model I believe um, I'm not 100% sure but you know you can check it out you know um, what is your type of motherboard so this video here I'll be doing a motherboard replacement uh, somewhat is almost a tear down and you get to see step by step on how to do so all right so let's get started uh, you need a pantalope screwdriver let's go ahead and remove all the screws here So once you have all the screws removed, the back cover would just come right out by applying some pressure and lift it up towards you know yourself. Just lift it up and that should open up the back plate. So at this point I'll explain to you what are these things that you're looking at. This is the battery and if you want to do a battery replacement, it's very simple. First you need to disconnect the cable. This is the battery cable. Go ahead and disconnect and remove the screws so how do you know if you need to replace the battery well um, you can you know if you feel like the battery is not holding the charge if it's fully charged at 100 percent and it only lasts you like maybe half an hour uh, and it just died then more likely the battery is not holding the charge and it's time for a replacement also you can check the apple on the top right corner where the battery shows the percentage or the charging icon and that icon will also indicate to tell you when to replace the battery all right so the battery will just come right out as simple as that after you remove two four two four five screws after you remove five screws the battery will just come right out without any problem now if you want to know where to find the battery replacement parts you can turn it around and maybe look for this serial number or this oh sorry uh, I apologize this is the battery serial number and the manufacturing date is 2014 um, way to look for the battery I think right here it says a1496 that is the battery model number and go look it up on eBay or maybe the description in this video below I would link where you can go ahead and get the replacement parts here is your hard drive so go ahead and uh, carefully remove the hard drive so the way it works is lift it up a little bit very little slightly tilt and then pull towards your right once you pull towards your right this is your hard drive this hard drive here is the one that has all your information in it so be very careful do not um, drop or anything while you're doing a motherboard replacement because your data is here all right let's move on to the next part so the next thing I'll disconnect this cable and this cable here once you lift it up like a Lego and you can see there's a slight double-sided tape and I just you know twist it around and that how's you disc that's how you disconnect this cable here 
and here is your speaker okay so we are not going to touch the speaker we leave it as this and this is the webcam your LCD screen um, camera so the way to work on this is to slide down meaning to slide towards yourself okay so you can just pull if you're having some hard time you can try to use um, a plastic prying tool so this plastic prying tool what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push the cable the connector you can see that the connector has a little um, ear on both sides right left and right so I'm just trying to leverage and push it down and that's how you remove it for this cable here again um, you just go to pull to your right and that's how you disconnect this cable at this point here I'll leave out this rubber that's rubber for the CPU fan okay so this is the we're going to remove the fan now so there are three screws that holds on to the fan once you remove that make sure you want to open up the clipper flip the clipper using a fingernail you can see this tiny little clipper flip it up and this cable would come right out so go ahead and slightly gently and slide out this this cable this is the CPU fan cable alright so at this point here there's one more screw hidden right underneath the Wi-Fi cable right here okay so I'll try to push this Wi-Fi cable away get my screws in it and try to loosen up the uh, the screw it's not coming out because the cable is connected to it okay what I'll do is I'll make a little marker here okay so that tells me this blue dot is the Wi-Fi connector the Wi-Fi cable for that and go ahead and remove that screw disconnect the Wi-Fi how to disconnect is very simple it's just like a Lego it push on like a snap on once you tilt it would just come right out and go ahead and slide slowly pull this Wi-Fi cable apart then now you can get to the screw that we were trying earlier to remove it alright so here's that screw okay at this point we need to transfer the Wi-Fi this Wi-Fi card over to the new motherboard okay so let's put it on the side the next step what we're trying to do is disconnect this cable this cable here is for your speaker to disconnect just kind of lift it up it's like a Lego it snaps on so lift it up that's how you disconnect this here is your LCD screen connector so you see that little clipper here you need to flip open the clipper make sure it's open up and then slide the cable away from you so slide it that side away from you okay so go ahead and remove the screws and these are the motherboard screws so one two three four five six six screws total and here is a touchpad connector flip open that clipper pull the cable downwards towards yourself okay pull the cable towards yourself and that's how you remove this thing this is the keyboard lighting so go ahead open up the clipper same thing pull the cable towards yourself and that's how you open it up so at this point here the motherboard should come out without any problem and there you have it okay so the keyboard just I mean sorry the motherboard just come right out without any problem alright so let me bring the new one and move the old one on, on the other side to install first you need to slide it in on this side of the uh, 
the left side of the motherboard so go ahead and slide it in make sure you have the cable above the above the uh, the motherboard make sure it's not hiding underneath okay so there you have it here make sure the Wi-Fi okay so once you have them you know in the right position you should be seeing the motherboard align properly with the holes so go ahead and close it right so put the screws back on so one screw here one screw here Okay, so do not forget this tiny screw that is going on the heatsink, top right corner. Oops, heatsink on the top right corner here. Okay, once you have that, I'll install the Wi Fi first. And then do not forget your speaker. Go ahead and connect the speaker back on. Here's your keyboard lighting. So flip open that clipper. Make sure the clipper is open. Slide it in. Push it all the way in. And then close it. Same thing for your touchpad. Slide it in. Close it. Here is your hard drive. So push it back. The way how the way you remove it. You just do the opposite side, you push it to the right to get rid, I mean to to open and then push to the left to install. Now we, what we want to do is install this um, webcam, right, the camera, so push it back in. So I need to install the fan, so make sure the clipper is open, right, make sure this clipper, slide the cable in first. Slide it in, slide it in. Until you see that white line is aligned straightly. And then go ahead and close it. Okay, once you have that being closed, remember to put the screws back on. The screws are not the same. Alright, so the top left is the smaller one. Same goes to the bottom the middle bottom is the smaller screw screw okay put it in and the top right is the longest one screw it in make sure you connect this cable back in slide it to your left here comes the Wi-Fi so the Wi-Fi is pretty much very easy you just gotta tuck it underneath okay Alright, once you tuck it underneath, remember the marker that I made, the blue goes to the top, which is the shorter one. And then the longer one goes to the bottom. Alright, there you have it. And here lastly is your LCD cable, slide it downwards. 
then push the clipper to clip it back on. Alright, so far we have connected all the cable and finally this is the final cable here. Go ahead and push it in. It's just like a Lego. Once you have it in the right spot, you push it in, you can feel like it snaps on. So now here is the battery. Let's go ahead and connect the battery. So the three main screws are longer, it goes to the left, middle and to your right. The two shorter ones goes at the bottom. So at this point here, what I usually do is I usually try to turn it on and make sure that it works um, before I close all the screws back on. But I know that the motherboard works, so I'm not going to do that process, but you should try to turn it on. Put the Put the back cover first, turn it on, make sure it boots up, you see the Apple logo and then um, then you can put the remaining screws back on. Alright, so um, I hope you like the video. If this video helps you uh, explain you know, each of the steps on what you need to do, uh, please give me a thumbs up, like the video, I really appreciate if you smash that like button. It really does help me to grow my channel and keep me motivated to make more of this type of video for you. Um, if you have any question, please comment below. I always read my comment. I always try to reply and answer any question that you have regarding about any computer helps that you need. So um, until next time, please take care and good luck with your repair. Bye bye.